is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? All right, that's, sounds good to me. A couple weeks ago, I noticed a pattern with Halo Infinite. The ha pattern was as follows. Everyone wanted it, I would play it, people would show up, and no one would support it. Just being honest, the crowdfunding was not good. And I couldn't figure it out. And then I had a stream about two weeks ago where I said, guys, if you want to see Halo in the rotation, we got to have support for it tonight. And then people did come out in droves and supported that stream. And I was like, wow, well, support was great. We'll keep it in the rotation. Now, incidentally, last week, I only got to play Halo Infinite once. Why? Because it was so busy with a million other things trying to finish up projects and things before the Christmas week. So, didn't really get to focus on it that much. Stream was slow, almost no support. Then last night, I finally get back to it again. Guess what? You know, same deal. And... It just seems to me, would you stop doing that? <laughs> it just seems to me that this game, for whatever reason, just doesn't get support, all right? And it, here's the thing, because people want to make excuses for it and everything. It's so ridiculous. First of all, someone actually literally tried to say, oh, but Phil, it's the holidays. You got to understand, it's the holidays and Omicron. Someone actually said this, Omicron is running rampant and it's the holidays and inflation. I was like, dude, what are you talking about? Earlier today, I played Lost Judgment. A game that has not had much following at all since I started playing it, and it was incredibly supported. All my other streams are doing fine. It's only Halo that's having problems. This is not, oh, it's the holidays and no one, no one can support nothing because everyone's broke. The hell are you talking about? Other, is every other streamer on the planet having a major problem right now? No one can get any support? Do we not have the second largest box op office opening of any movie ever with Spider-Man for, uh, you know, No Way Home? What are you talking about? Oh, everyone's broke. No, for some reason people don't support Halo. I don't get it. Give me your money. I really don't get it, but that's just the case, all right? So here's the deal. I don't want to give up on Halo. I like it. I really do. I want to keep playing it, but I have to see if people are actually going to end up supporting it. So let's see what happens. I'm going to try it again. I am. So it's going to be Monday of this coming week, Monday night. I'm going to play it again, and we're going to see what happens on Monday night, okay? I really don't want to give up on it. I don't, but I, what can I do again when people are asking? Would you stop that, Jasper? Leave it alone. Hey! Now look what you did. I knew it. I knew this was going to happen. Jasper, leave the wires alone. I keep telling you to leave them alone. Why don't you listen to me? Now everything's on the floor. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> look at this. I schooled you like a child. I schooled you. Strongly scolded. <laughs> oh my god. What's funny about this is people watch me talk to Jasper. And they say, Phil, cats don't understand English. Why do you talk to Jasper? You are so ignorant. I mean this now. Does he actually understand the individual words I'm saying? No, he doesn't. He doesn't speak English. But Jasper is not stupid. Jasper is a very intelligent cat. He does the things he does because he knows there's cause and effect, right? <laughs> right now, I'm sitting here talking to you guys. Jasper's jealous. Jasper's what they call a, a mojito kitty or a party kitty. He always wants to be the center of attention or the life of the party. Okay? Me talking to you upsets him. Like, why is he not just talking to me? Why is he not giving me treats? Why is he not playing with me with toys? Why is he not giving me rubs? Right? Why am I not getting all the attention? <clears throat> so because of that, what does he do? He does something to act it up to get my attention. Did it work? Yes. Now, normally I would just ignore him. Seriously. Like, yesterday I was playing Lost Judgment. He was in front of the television. And I was like, dude, I'm just going to ignore him and he'll stop. And it worked. Because when a cat doesn't get the attention they're seeking, they move on and do something else. But when he's biting a wire, I have to act because that's an electric wire. And if he bites through and gets hurt, you know, that's not something you should ignore. I'm, I'm responsible for him. I'm basically like his parent. I gotta make sure he's safe. So when you see me react like that, I don't like reacting like that. I gotta make sure that he doesn't hurt himself. You understand? Any pet that I get would never be allowed in my office ever. Unless I'm highly supervising them. So the cat comes in for five minutes to be on stream or whatever. Okay, you guys can see the cat on stream and it hangs out. Then it's, get the fuck out. Because I can't babysit a cat while I'm trying to play a game or record a stream, you know. Alright, 
uh, tips this morning. Ansel Kamaru to the dollar fifty is very upset with me. He says, "Lol, you do realize not everyone who likes sexual loot or dating content in video games isn't a single shut-in sim or people in unfulfilling relationships, right? It's hundred percent okay to not like that kind of content, but you shouldn't generalize people." Oh, Phil's afraid of women in games, and he's a prude, and he's this and that. Ansel Kamaru, as you know, I am one person. I'm not more than one person. So therefore, I give you my takes based on my own perspective and my own personal experience and situation. And this is my opinion. You can completely disagree with me on this one. And it's okay if you do. I swear to you, it's okay if you do. In my opinion, if you are in a meaningful, loving relationship, if you have enough romance in your real life, okay, you don't go seeking that in a fantasy world, okay? The reason that I play video games, primarily, is to simulate an experience that I could not actually have in real life. If I could go outside right now and grab an insanely gourmet piece of pizza and eat it, why would I play a video game in my house where I could grab an insanely gourmet piece of pizza and eat it? I would go do the real thing, right? Right. I mean, that, does that make sense? That's, that's the, my, my logical, rational line of thought here. So, if I have a personal romantic relationship in my life that fulfills all of my needs in that regard, I don't then need to play a video game that simulates a romantic relationship. I haven't had sex in ages. <laughs> Do you see? If there were zombies standing outside my house ready to slaughter, I wouldn't have to play a zombie game. Because it's real outside my house. You understand? You get it? That's the whole point of video games is to simulate an experience you can't actually get right now in real life. You know, right now, if I could get 17 weirdo fighters to stand in front of my house and I could go out there and fight them, I wouldn't need to play Street Fighter. You see? So I'm sorry, and this is my personal take and experience, and again, you could disagree. If you have a relationship in your real life, right now, you have a relationship, but then you go play games with simulated romance and you have a waifu in a video game, what's going on in your life? Why do you need a virtual girlfriend if you have a real one? Right? Or vice versa. Why do you need a virtual boyfriend or, or a guy? What do they call the, the guy? It's not the wife of the, the male version. I forget what it's called. If you, if you have someone you're with, and you know what I mean? Why do you need that? You know? You're supposed to have the real thing. Now, I'm not saying, oh my god, you're cheating. Right? You are cheating on someone and stuff like that. It's not what I'm saying. That's extreme. Weird strips? Cheating. In a relationship, do you think engaging in romantic relationships in games can be a form of disrespect to cheating? Yes. Yes, I do. Absolutely, I do. I actually do think that. If you're taking it seriously, and you're lusting over a virtual woman or man, it's just as bad as lusting over a real one. That's fucking stupid. But you understand the point I'm making is if you're happy with your life, you don't then seek out supplemental ways to create that situation in your life again in a virtual world. Okay? You just don't. I, don't, I, I just don't understand it. You know? I don't. I don't. Because I'm happy in my life with my personal relationship with my wife. So why do I seek out? Why would I do that? Why would I look online or whatever for that? You know what I'm saying? You know? I don't like Catherine. I prefer WWE champions with Ah, shout out to Zane Saeed, who has become a channel member for eight months. I have, I'm serious about this? I have no idea. I had a feeling something was about to happen in chat. I'm not even kidding. I had a weird, psychic feeling that something was about to happen that I needed to shout out. So I wanted to wait like 10 seconds to see, and then something happened. That was so weird. I totally had a feeling that something was about to happen to shout out, and then it did. Wow. That was a total clairvoyant moment for me. Now I just need to totally have moments of, like, millions of dollars coming in, and I'm good to go. So let me tell you if I feel that later tonight. All right. <laughs> Guys, we're going to take, like, a five-minute break. I just want to go see what Kat's up to because she got home when I was streaming. And I want to let her know, you know, we're in the middle of this. I'm going to stream for another hour, all right? So give me a minute. What would you like me to do today? The basics include cooking, cleaning, laundry. We're currently at $34 in tips. Remember, at 50 bucks, it's going to glasses. At 100, it's a hat. And if you have a nice festive hat tonight, either the glowing, shining, let's get lit hat or a Santa hat tonight, 
if by some ridiculous miracle in the next hour, we actually qualify for the full tips of $150, which I don't foresee happening, you get to pick a festive holiday uh, sweater for me to wear tonight. Okay? Oh, well, thank you so much, Slayer. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. Boosh. Well, thank you so much, Slayer, for a whopping, massive, ginormous, incredibly generous $111 tip. Wait, that's the, no, no, wait, that's not what I wanted. Whoa, whoa, there's a whale. A giant whale. That's cool as a giant whale. And the good news is he did it early enough that we will have time to do both polls. What the hell are you guys talking about? If you continue with that bullshit, I'm just going to ban everyone from being a dick. Seriously, I'm having fun here on the stream. We're having a good time. We're having an advancement. None of your horse shit tonight. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind, and it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone, just gone like that. In an instant, fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory, but I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. Is the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>